after all the failed attempts to find you. Now, the universe delivers you to me as an act of providence. We don't have to fight. You have the power to stop what you're doing. You are right. I do have the power. I have all the power in the world!
No, I'm not going to end it like this. Even with all the power in the world, you are still weak. Before the Avatar, we bent not the elements, but the energy within ourselves. To bend another's energy, your own spirit must be unbendable, or you will be corrupted and destroyed. To me. I took away your firebending. You can't use it to hurt or threaten anyone else ever again. Soon after, Zuko became the Fire Lord, ending 100 years of war. And Aang had truly become the Avatar. Balance was restored. That won't do at all. Even as happy endings go, that was a bit... Uh, predictable. But that is how these events came to a close. Perhaps, but that's not how my play will end. I need to send the audience out the door chattering madly, wildly conjecturing, imagining. Peace is what many in your audience have only imagined their entire lives. Now they have it. Is that not enough? That's my point. They already have that. But I must give them something new, fresh. A cliffhanger. A, a twist. <gasps> twist upon twist. Like? For example, Appa and Momo will speak, if only to each other. Audience love talking animals. And Aang, he's taken the Fire Lord's power. But perhaps, just perhaps, he also inherits the Fire Lord's long, lustrous hair. For all the power of the Avatar, he just can't do anything with his hair. Oh! And as for the new Fire Lord, with all due respect to your nephew, the real eye-opener would be to make Katara the new Fire Lord. Oh, that'd get the crowd, and a few critics I know, really talking. Why, I can see it now. The Ba Sing Se players would be acclaimed throughout the land. But were you not striving for more historical accuracy? Oh, you dear man. How about I leave you to making your delicious tea, and you let me handle the theater? Now I really must dash off. I have what you might call a little bit of drama bending to do. <laughs> Thank you so much for regaling me with your thrilling tales. Fear not, gentlemen. I will do you and the Avatar proud. Ta-ta! I somehow doubt that production will do anyone proud. On the positive side, I believe she has revealed to me an 86th Jing. I'd rather drink poisonous tea from the white jade bush than go through that again. <sighs> <sighs> the tea's gone cold. Allow me to make a fresh pot. Hey! <laughs> <Hooray. laughs> 